everyone. I hope everyone is doing well this morning. Uh, welcome to Garfield Memorial Church. Uh, obviously, we are the Greenview campus, and uh, we are very fortunate to have uh, this hall, uh, this place to be able to uh, do our fatherhood walk this year. This is the, uh, the first time that we're doing the fatherhood walk at Garfield Memorial Church. Uh, and Pastor Scott Blevins is uh, so awesome to be able to open his doors to us uh, and welcome us into this place so that we can conduct our, uh, our Father's Walk uh, uh, program here this year. Uh, this is the 14th year that the Father's Wood Walk, Fatherhood Walk has been going on, um, and, and Greenview has been a part of it um, you know, ever since I've been here, and this is my fourth time being involved in the Fatherhood Walk. Um, and this this time around is really important to me. Um, I've been a father now for uh, almost four years. Uh, I've got uh, two beautiful daughters, and I have a, a little young man who is going to be joining our family in February. And it is, it is so important uh, to be that, that great model, uh, the, the, the model, that hero that your child looks up to. It's very important to connect with your child uh, on many different levels. Uh, for me, sports is always an easy way, so I'm involved in coaching my kids and, and playing with my kids. Uh, but then I involve them uh, in decision making, and we sit around the dinner table, and we talk about their day uh, and things that they're going through, experiences they're having. And it's very interesting, uh, the conversations that happen between two and four-year-olds. So I try and lead simply with that simple model of model, connect, and involve. And, uh, and I take that to, to work and also with my children. To hear a little bit more about fatherhood, what it means to them, I'm going to introduce uh, one of our Greenview students, a fifth grade student, very talented young lady who I got to know last year um, as I was her principal in the fourth grade. I'm going to bring up to the stage Elena Appline. I think having a dad like mine is amazing. Here are the reasons why. He always gets me things I want. He works hard to keep me safe. He spends time with me doing fun things. Also, he yells at me a lot. I still know he cares about me. He always tells me he loves me bigger than the sky. This is why I love my dad. Thank you. And one of the wonderful things that I have about my job is I get to connect with, with so many families. Uh, and Dr. Appline, I'm gonna introduce him in a second. He is a fantastic father uh, and really a role model for me as, uh, as we've gone through the, the, this time together. He's dro dropped some nuggets and information to me as a young father. Um, so I'm gonna bring up to the stage Dr. Corey Appline. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Um, Greenview, Ms. Murphy, parents, caregivers, faculty, staff, students. I would be remiss if I didn't give a special thank you to Mr. Russell for extending the opportunity to me to speak to you today on such an auspicious occasion to celebrate the fathers in our children's lives because as it is stated, fathers matter. When I was first tasked with uh, to, to talk about what it means to me to be a father, I thought, oh, that's easy, game over. And the more I thought about it, the more challenging it became. What do I do for my children? How do I quantify that? Well, I cook, I clean, I do the laundry, I cut the grass, I plow the driveway, I do maintenance on the house. Like, wow, dude, you do a lot. And that's when it hit me. I give my all to my children. And because I believe in threes, that's what I want to talk about briefly with you today. I know we're on a truncated timetable. I have to get home to pick up my son and take him to Sunview to do this with him. I give my all. I give my all, A-L-L, -L. what does that mean? A is for availability. I'm with my children in the moment. For you true sports fans out there, you know this is the best time of the year. We got the end of baseball, the beginning of basketball, hockey's coming. 
do I have to say NFL in college football? Oh, H, man, I, oh, let's go, let's get it. What do I do when my son says, Daddy, can we play PlayStation? And I just want to watch the game. What do I do when my daughter says, Daddy, can we go to the store and get some crafts and can you play with me? And I say, baby, I've been at work all day. I'm so tired. All I want to do is go home and get under the bed. Something has to give. So I realized that I give my children the second most important thing, and that is my time availability. L is listen. I'm from an era where a child is to be seen and not heard. I'm from an era where a child is to stay in a child's place. We didn't have opinions because we were children. Well, what do I do? I listen to my children. I listen to what they say and how they say it. Why? Because I'm their father. I have to cultivate an environment for them to evolve. Finally, the last L for me is the easiest but the most important. Love. I love my children. How do I teach my children how to love themselves? How do I teach my children what love is and what love isn't? Well, I first have to know what love is for myself. We are people of faith in, my, in our family. And how do I know what love is? I first love my creator, my higher power, my God, Jesus Christ. And he teaches me how to love him. He then teaches me how to love myself. I can then teach my children how to love themselves. And then we as a family can love our neighbor as we love ourselves because that's the real golden rule. In summary, what does it mean to be a father? I give my all. I give them my ability, my availability. I listen to what they say so I can teach and guide and lead and encourage and discipline and chastise. I love them with all of my heart because I'm their dad. What am I giving my children? I'm giving them all of me. There is no greater reward to me than being a father. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your ear. Have a blessed and wonderful day. Godspeed. Thank you so much, Dr. Appline, and to your daughter. We very much appreciate you giving of your time to be here today to speak with our fathers. I would like to take a moment to introduce Mr. Al Grimes. He is with the Cuyahoga County Fathers Initiative. He joins us every year, and I would like to give him an opportunity to say a few words. Thank you very much. Give yourselves a hand this morning for all the dads. Stand up and give yourself a hand. Stand up, stand up, stand up. We really appreciate you. Okay. Real quick, stand, uh, keep standing up, keep standing up. Real quick, I want you to do something real quick. Fathers, I want to, kids, stand up with you. Fathers, I want you to turn around, look your children in the eye, and say, I love you. Kids, kids, I want you to turn around, look your dad in the eye, and say, with real, real emphasis, say, I love you, dad. All right, great, thanks. Okay, the, the reason I do that, and I started doing that a few years ago, is because you guys know that a lot of times when, people, when kids grow up and parents grow up, you'll hear a kid say, you know what, I never heard my dad tell me I love him, you know? So now your kids can never say that. I, I'm going to thank all of you guys for being here today. This is one of 202 schools and about 18,000 dads that will be walking their kids to school today. And for that, we are very thankful. Um, I'm not going to say much except for the fact that, you know, people know when dads are involved in their children's life, they're less likely to go to jail, less likely to commit suicide, less likely to uh, drop out of school, less likely to become teen parents themselves. When you guys are involved, children live a more positive and productive life. And that's what the Fatherhood Initiative is all about, making sure that both parents stay involved in raising their children because it produces better results. And we fund 12 programs to help fathers meet not only the financial needs of their children, 
but the emotional needs. And this is one of the things you guys are doing today is you're meeting the educational and the emotional needs of your children. I tell dads all of the time, you know, they come to me and they say, well, Al, I just bought them the new Jordans or I just bought them the little LeBrons. And I said, well, what did they get on their last science test? You know, who's their favorite homeroom teacher? Who's their best friend and why? So you guys are doing a great service. Just, I, yesterday, I was in Columbus with my youngest daughter who is applying, was interviewed for medical school at Ohio State University. 26 years old, I'm still doing that educational thing with her. So, so I want to thank you again for coming today. Continue to be involved in your children's lives. And be, because if you guys have heard my radio ads all the time, you've heard it, that the tagline is fathers do matter. Thank you and enjoy the day. Thank you, Mr. Grimes. Fathers, hopefully when you came in today, you received a pledge card. Our hope and desire is that as you're taking your child back to school this morning, that you read the back of the pledge card with your child and talk to them about what you pledge to do to be a part of their school career and their lives. Because that's an important piece, is to have that time with your child and be able to explain just how you will be a part of their lives. I don't think I can say anything more than our guest speakers have already said today, and I very much appreciate the efforts and the time that you all gave to be here on this early morning. I know that the elementary schools are beginning their programs at 745, so we're on a pretty quick time crunch. So again, can we give Pastor Blevins a round of applause for allowing us to use this space? Mr. Zechariah from the South Euclid Media Department in the back is videoing us. Thank you so much. And to the staff from Greenview who was here this morning at the early hours to help pass things out and prepare, we appreciate them as well. So fathers, special people, grandfathers who may be here with us today, take the time as you are headed back to Greenview with your child to go over this pledge card and just talk about the importance of that male figure in your life. Thank you so much for being here with us. Make sure you grab a water or a granola bar on the way out if you did not already have a chance to do that. And you will be met back at Greenview to sign in by some of our people outside the building. So thank you once again. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.